Welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. It is your Inner Peace time again this weekend. So how are you, everyone? Have you been practicing meditation regularly? I hope you are doing well with your meditations. So in order to join our activity together again this week, please don't forget to share this message to everyone that you are care for and who likes or interest to meditation. Now, before I begin our meditation, let's do our routine checkup while we are waiting for everyone to join. And so, everyone, let's take a look by leave the comment whether you are where you from, what's the local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from. All comment is appreciate. Good comment will be like. Bad comment will be banned. So that way, so that way we can keep. Good environment for meditation because our activity mean no harms to anyone unless you have bad intention. That's why you leave bad comment. And so, let's begin with our uh, message by leave the comment. What's your name, the local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from? So, by this time when you are waiting for me, <clears throat> in about six minutes we should begin our live meditation. So. Does anyone new to this meditation? If you are, don't worry. Our meditation is regularly. You can also watch the supplemental video that provide on our page, Great Teaching Monk, or also at the place in the YouTube channel, Great Teaching Monk as well, the same name. You can look for the local and uh, uh, profile pictures that you can also check. Now, however, before I begin. Any further, don't forget to leave the comment and share this message to everyone. And so, after the session, don't leave yet, everyone. We still have our yes, wisdom to share. And today is quite interesting: a farmer and an old donkey. Yes, what can we learn from this uh, short story, and how can it apply into our daily life with meditation and the uh, way that we live in? Anyway. Hope we have a good time meditating, and for those who make meditate regularly, if you have questions how to progress in your meditation, please feel free to leave a comment. If I see, I will answer. If I cannot answer on the live, I will write, I will type a message to you directly, so that way you can learn and improve your meditation experience with me. Now, did you share anyone yet? If you did. Well, you are free. While we are waiting another four or five minutes from now, how about preparing yourself by first making your mind be suitable for our upcoming meditation, by making yourself be clear from all the worries. First, do you need to use restroom? Check yourself and clear it up. Also, if you need to call someone or if you don't. If you need to do it now, make it short. If you don't, it's easier to turn it your mobile phone off, so that way it won't disturb during meditation. And last but not least is the place where you watching this broadcast of and meditating with me today. It is suitable. If it's smelly with food or very dirty, it's not clean, not organized. You can have a time. This five minutes to clear it up, so that way your mind will be more adjustable, more convenient for resting your mind inside yourself and ready for the meditation together this weekend. So, what is the benefit for us to join our meditation every weekend? Well, you see, if you do it regularly, that's good. But hey, you know, what if you meditate alone? But sometimes you don't know, and you want to share, or you want to learn something by sharing with a group. This is an opportunity that you can also, since you don't have a time to join in a group at the local. Maybe you can do it at home and watch it online. This can also save the time and can also help you prepare yourself for the next week to come, which is tomorrow that you are going to face. Well, anyone, how are? The thing goes. Don't forget to share. And while we are waiting, 
well, you maybe noticed that. Hey, how come I didn't look down on my tablet and try to, uh, you know, share the message? Today I got some assistance to help from our volunteer. So that is quite improvement that I got someone to help at this time. So that's why you can, I can speak more and be, be more close to you. But the weak start, the downside is that I couldn't see anyone, you know, uh, who is uh, leaving the message just yet. But if I see it, I'll do it. I'll do quick reply. But earlier, before I send the tablet to my assistant, well, I saw Mr. Chi, right? Are you there? Maybe Mary's too. Well, hopefully we have a good time meditating. Don't forget to uh, share this message to someone that you love and care for, whether they are like or don't like meditation. It is your good job too, that if you can persuade them to join once a week, this can be bring your own benefit too, because you see, sometimes when you do it alone, you don't have the strength to continue. But if you share with your friends and share this message to everyone, it can help you encourage and improve your meditations and your effort too. Sometimes when your friend get a good meditation experience, that can be you know making encouragement that can you that you can, uh, hey, I do some good things to others. Well, there you go, right? And so everyone, check yourself one more time. Are you ready for the meditation? If you are, well, one more minute before I begin our meditation. And so everyone, good luck on our meditation. Remember, two things that require your meditation. First of all, yes, relaxation. Relax the body. Need to relax the body. Without relaxing the body, it's impossible for you to focus but not too much if you relax too much you might fall asleep especially this early maybe if in your country if it's quite early in the morning well hopefully you're still alert and awake but if you relax too much you might fall asleep so be careful because leaving yourself unrelaxed difficult to focus relax too much you might fall asleep stay in the middle that is why we have to live our life in the balance or in the middle way. Okay? Second, last tip. Relax the mind. Making your mind be more comfortable, more relaxed. Just like when you are with someone that you are comfortable to be with. Like your parents, your spouse, someone that you feel close and open to. This won't make you think don't make you feel uncomfortable the mind that need at the, the beginning of meditation need that kind of feeling and so these two you need to find i can only tell you how but it is you yourself have to find experience it just like meditation you cannot make them enlightened unless you do it yourself or if you are hungry you cannot feel, you cannot feel your stomach and make other people feeling not hungry anymore just like you so they have to make this themselves as well and so everyone good luck on meditation so are you ready if you are let's begin our meditation <coughs> now let's <coughs> clear sound clear sound okay silent oh you turn your Mr. Xu Tong, did you turn on your mute, your sound? If you don't, maybe that's why you couldn't hear it. So make sure yourself, you turn on the volume, that way you can hear, okay? So it seems everyone ready. Hello. Then, let's begin our meditation. <coughs> meditation in sections. And... Let's begin. Close your eyes. Relax your mind and body. Adjusting yourself. Sitting. In a relaxed and comfortable position. Where you won't feel any tension 
on your body. Relax very truly. Begin from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Loose your eyelids. Don't squeeze your eyes or try using your eyes during the meditation. Relax further down to your neck and your shoulder. Adjusting your back properly, free from all the tension you might have. Relax both of your arms all the way down to your hands. Continue to relax further down to your abdomen, allowing yourself breathe in and breathe out easily. So relax very truly down to your legs, your knees, and all the way to your feet completely, making your whole body feeling most comfortable during the meditation. Spend these few moments adjusting your body suitable for our meditation together. When you are done adjusting, let's move on to adjust your mind. Empty your mind putting down everything aside for this moment. The time for yourself, the time for your mind, and the time for the meditation. Begin by take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Clear all the thoughts and worries at the same time. Why are you breathing it out? Then imagine that yourself is alone in this place. A place that you like to be by yourself, free from all thoughts and worries. A place of your own where there's no one to disturb or bother you. Making you feel refreshed light, empty, and comfortable by just sitting there all alone at this time.
then allowing your mind to come back to your body slowly and gently. Your mind is like a bubble floating down, a bubble floating down into your body, and gently rest inside yourself at the center of your body or any place that you feel comfortable to rest your mind inside your body around your abdomen relax both body and mind at the same time begin to observe your mind through your feeling from there feeling that your mind is inside your body around your abdomen observe the mind through your feeling or you may apply by lightly imagine imagine the sun shine inside your body peacefully observe the sun inside yourself let the sun shine all over your mind and body making yourself relax as much as you can should the thought arise don't worry let it go without following your thought or you may apply the mantra repeat the mantra in your mind slowly and gently repeat the mantra while observe the sun at the same time and the mantra is Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Continue the mantra until your mind has calmed down or you feel like you don't need to use the mantra anymore. So let's take our time in this opportunity finding ourselves in a peace for a little while until the appropriate time
center relax very truly let the peace expand from the center of your body Expand the peace inside yourself further and further like a ripple. Expand in all directions. Expand your feeling, the feeling of peace as far as you can or make your mind your own body transparent let everywhere fill your mind with peace let the peaceful feeling sharing them to everyone that you care for Spend a few moments, spread your feeling of peace, share this feeling with everyone and all the beings in this world for a short while.
Take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Feel the center. Stay inside your body and maintain the connection of your mind and the center inside yourself as long as you can. Then slowly and gently open your eyes Welcome back, everyone. How are you feeling? Please allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who are new to our program on this live meditation, don't leave just yet. We still have our wisdom to share after this. So please share your meditation experience leaving the comment for those who are able to relax please leave the comment as one for those who are able to feeling that your body is being disappear or transparent and your mind still feeling at the center very relaxed please leave the comment as two for those who experience brightness in your meditation Leave the comment as three. For anything else beyond what I mentioned, leave the comment as four. Explain, and when I see your comment, I'll get back to you. So let's check who's sharing right now. Miss Janice, uh, Mavis, Mr. She, and Mr. Go and Nina. Wow, Nina, that's good. Maintain your good quality of meditation. That's very good. Well. That's a good day for you to start your day in America. Maybe you need to go to a hospital. So that's a good time to start your day. Hello, Miss Compton. Uh, Doris, two. That's very good. What about one? Well, that's really good already, everyone. Because a sense of mindfulness that allow you to focus better. Your body and mind should be able to relax first. Okay. So this is how we practice the middle way meditation. If you feel that you're unable to relax for as long as the meditation it is, even for just a glimpse, if you can expand and make it longer, that's very good. Because relaxation will allow you to focus much better. If you feel that you have deep inside expecting or just experience some new thing and you feel excited over it, a little bit of that can make you expecting for the next round of meditation. Not good. Watch out, everyone. Don't have expectation is the best during meditation. Hello, Diane. That's three. That's very good. If you can make it longer, that will be even best. Okay. If you can experience brightness, that is mean that your mind totally unite at the center and feeling so comfortable to stay there. In other words, it's still there already. But if you can make it last longer for the whole meditation, maybe you can experience something more than light, the light and the bright light that you experience. Okay, it was late. You try to log early next week. Don't worry. Okay, after this, you can always watch the rerun and continue and come back and leave it again. Okay, so that way you can continue resume the time. Normally, we usually meditate around 40 minutes. Maximum 45 minutes in our Inner Peace Sunday program. So that way, you can have your time for refreshment of your mind. Because sometimes if you meditate on your own, maybe less than 40 minutes. So this is a good time that you can meditate. But if you come late, don't worry. Come back again and watch again. So that way you can continue make it more 40 minutes, okay? 
And now let's see. Maybe we feel more cold during meditation. <laughs> well, check out your your room if you turn on meditate uh, aircon that cold. Okay. So this you have to watch out your environment too when you meditate. Make it suitable. You can't just stay in a cold place meditating. You can it can chill your spine out. Now everyone, let's get back to our wisdom today. A farmer and an old donkey. <laughs> Some of you may already heard this story before, but how can apply? How can we apply this in our daily life and meditation? Let's hear it out. Once upon a time, there is a farmer who lived with a donkey, an old donkey. They have been living together for a very long time. However, one day, during the time when they travel, a donkey just fell off from the road, fell into a pit, very deep pit, with the pain. A donkey crying very loud, asking for help for his companion. The farmer to help. The farmer tried to look everywhere, tried to solve his problem to help the monkey, uh, the donkey out, but he could not find any solution. Finally, it made him realize, hey, the donkey is very old already. What use it? What use would it be for him to keep it alive? Maybe he just let it die. And so instead of helping out the donkey, he called the villager to come help by. Yes. Filling out the pit hole, so that way the donkey can die with the hole inside the hole without, you know, getting out alive. And so when the when the villager come to help filling the hole, the donkey realized that when the when a first uh, shovel of dirt of soil coming touching its back, it's knowing that its own that the farmer tried to kill it instead of helping. And so the donkey no longer cry out. Instead, it keep very silent. And so when the people filling out the hole, they couldn't hear the donkey cry anymore. They were they were surprised when they see the donkey. When the donkey having the the soil touch its body, it try to shake its body, get the soil out as much as it could, and try to stay on top of the soil. With this. In no time, when the villager tried to fill the soil into the hole, what happened was finally the donkey able to climb up from the pit hole because the soil it tried to stay on top of the soil. And when the soil had been filling up, finally the donkey getting out alive. From this story, as you can see here, when people facing trouble or some kind of deep Critical situation. Most of the time, they feel being panic, spending time on panic, then try to solve the solution. Look at this monkey, uh, donkey as an example. A donkey, instead of crying out loud, try to uh, asking for help or plead for mercy, instead it keeps silent, and try to shake off the soil and stay on top of the soil so that way. It won't get buried alive in the pit hole. So in our life too, everyone, sometimes when we meet some kind of situation that quite very difficult to solve, rather than try to think our problem off our head, instead cooling down, try to find ourselves more awareness, being mindful, being calm, and stay silent. In this case. The situation, I mean, the problem that can help the idea to help solve problem can we arise, and if we look around too, we can see many things that can help out. And so, everyone, rather than just stay in panic or try to think your head off, try to solve the problem. Rather than doing that, try to look in an another's perspective by being calm, being silent, being more. Still, then you will find solution in no time. And so, everyone, thank you very much for your time joining our Inner Peace Sunday today. I hope to see you again next week. And you know what next week was? It is in Thailand. It is the New Year in Thailand, and it is considered the hottest day in Thailand in the past. I don't know now though. Since today, 
and last and yesterday, in fact, there was a big, big, heavy rain, and so it's quite cold <laughs> at this time, which is the first time ever in my life. We're feeling very cold at this time in the summer season. Anyway, hope you have a good day and good time living your life this week. And see you again next week, everyone. See you again later. Don't forget to like and share, though.